Okay guys, it's Mama Fody. Um, I'm doing a, a quick video today because I've been asked to show you guys one of my favorite meals that I prepare and it's meatloaf. So I'm going to go through it with you and we're going to make a meatloaf today, okay? So it's known to be one of my best recipes. Everybody asks for it and it's very delicious. So here we go. So um, this is about almost four pounds of ground beef. Um, a lot of people like to use the meatloaf mixture. That's pork, veal, and um, beef. I don't like veal, so I just use the regular ground beef. Okay, so this is about four pounds. So what I usually add to it is um, lots of garlic. I usually put an envelope of Lipton um, soup mix. Okay, throw it in. I use breadcrumbs. I just I do everything by eye, so. You know, just, you look at it, and if it looks good, that's what I do. Okay? Salt, of course. Whoop, 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 whoop. Salt. I drop the freaking garlic. Okay? I put some, um, gray Dijon mustard. A couple plops. Whoop, whoop. Okay? I also put um, any kind of barber um, barbecue sauce you have. Whoop! Just for it makes it moist, really moist. Okay. Um, some Lee and Perrin's. I never know how to say this word. Worcestershire sauce. Just a couple sprinkles here and there. Like that. Um, I also put um, pepper. It's very easy, guys. You can do it. Two eggs. Boop. Two eggs. I put a little bit of thyme. You know, just a little bit here and there. You know, you just judge. It comes out good no matter what. No matter what you do, it comes out really good. Sometimes what I do is I even make it with broccoli and cheese. After I do the meatloaf and I put it together, I make an opening. I put the bro broccoli and cheese in. I fold it over and I bake it. Also ketchup. Also ketchup. Okay. Now it's time. We got to mold the meat. Okay. Let's see if you can mold the meat because Mama Foti molds meat very good. All kinds of meat. Okay? Okay. Ew, you gotta get in there very squishy, squishy, squeeze it all up. This is the worst part. Squish it all up, squish it all up. Eee. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. We can make many designs probably too with the meat. Let's see. Let's see if we can make a penis maybe. Think we can make a penis with this meat? Let's see. Round top, skinny bottom, whoop, there go. <laughs> there guy, look at that guy, look at that, whoop, look at that. Now that's what you call, hmm, a Milo penis, there you go. Look at that, nice head, nice head. There it goes, limp, whoop. <laughs> okay, let's get serious, we're making meatloaf here. We're not supposed to screw up the meatloaf. But yeah, you can make many things. You could probably make a breast, you could probably make little dog animals with your kids. But when you taste this meatloaf, you are going to love it. Okay. I don't, I, I, I don't want to be dirty and stuff, but molding this, my hands are ice cold. Whew. Let's see if we can make a peel. Let's see if we can make a nice round breast. Okay, let's see. There's a nice breast. Let's put a little nipple on the top. <laughs> serious but you know me I'm, I'm a crazy girl okay meatloaf is gonna be mixed okay now it's time it's time to form the meat okay once you get it in you gotta get it in like this you gotta make it all like an oblong shape like this I know it's not gonna look the best right now but I'm trying to do it quick for you okay mold the meat girls mold the meat 
do you know how to mold the meat? Okay, once you get it all molded, the most important part right now is going to be, you're going to cut some onions, put them around. The most important part right here is the bacon. You have to layer that bacon all on top. All on top of the meat. Okay? After you get that bacon on there, you're going to take the ketchup. You're going to pour that ketchup all on top of the meat like this. You're going to throw, you're going to, you're going to massage the meat with the ketchup, okay? I'm sure you know how to do massage. Get your maws like you do your man or your woman. Massage that meat. You're going to bake it in the oven for 350 for about two and a half hours, okay? You got it? So there's my first recipe. If you like it, we'll do it again. If not, eh, we won't do it again, okay? Bye, guys.